and girls, it is time for a little story. I have Oliver here to share with us. I don't know how long he'll stay, but he is with us. He looks a little different today. I can't figure out what it is. Can you? Hmm. So, our story is just five minute stories. It's a big book, but they're just five little minute stories from Frozen. As you know, let it go! One of my favorite songs. All right, Ellie, you wanna lay down? Can you lay down for me? Your favorite spot. There you go. So, boys and girls, the doctor has told me that my eyes are getting so that I, it's hard for me to read and that I need to re use glasses to help me read because I'm getting a little older. So, here they are. Believe it or not. I know, I know, I still look very handsome. Thank you. All right, so the first story is Frozen itself. The kingdom of Arendelle was a happy place. The king and queen had two daughters, Anna and Elsa. The girls were their pride and joy, but the family had a secret. Elsa could create ice and snow out of thin air. One night, Anna convinced Elsa to turn the ballroom into a winter wonderland. As the sisters happily played together, Elsa accidentally lost control of her magic. An icy blast hit Anna in the head, and she fell to the floor, unconscious. The king and queen rushed to the girls to the trolls, mysterious healers who knew about magic. A wise troll named Grand Poppy saved Anna by removing her memories of Elsa's magic. He explained that she was lucky to have been hit in the head, not in the heart. The troll told the king and queen that Elsa's powers would only grow stronger. Fear will be her enemy, he warned. The king and queen knew they had to protect their daughter to keep her magic a secret, they closed the gates. The king gave Elsa gloves to contain her powers, but she was still afraid she might hurt someone. She even avoided Anna to keep her safe. Then, when Anna and Elsa were teenagers, their parents were lost at sea. The sisters had never felt more alone. I don't know if you've seen the movie, but this is very similar. Elsa stayed inside where she could hide her magic, but she could not keep the castle gates closed forever. On the day of her coronation, that's when she becomes queen, her subjects were invited inside to celebrate. Anna was thrilled at the chance to meet new people. She had barely stepped outside when she met Prince Hans of the Southern Isles. The two instantly fell in love. At the coronation ball, Prince Hans asked Anna to marry him. Anna said, yes! The couple went to ask Elsa for her blessing. Elsa refused to bless the marriage. She couldn't let Anna marry a man she had just met. Anna couldn't believe her sister. Why do you shut me out? What are you so afraid of? She cried. As Elsa fought with her sister, she lost control of her magic. Ice seemed to shoot out of her hands. Now all of Arendelle knew her secret. Panic, Elsa fled for the mountains. With her secret out, Elsa let her powers loose. A storm raged around her as the, she created an ice palace and even changed the way she looked. Below her ice and snow covered Arendelle, Anna felt awful, leaving Hans in charge. She went after her sister. As Anna trekked through the forest, she lost her horse. Luckily, she met an ice harvester named Kristoff and his reindeer, Sven. The two agreed to help her find Elsa. I like that name, Sven. Maybe I'll change my name to Sven. High in the mountains, Anna and Kristoff came across a dazzling winter wonderland where they met a living snowman. Snow, snowman, excuse me. Hi, I'm Olaf, he said. 
Anna realized that Elsa must have created him. She asked Olaf to lead them to Elsa so they could bring back Summer. Olaf loved the idea of Summer and happily led them to Elsa's palace. Inside, Anna told Elsa about the terrible winter storm in Arendelle. It's okay, you can just unfreeze it, she said. But Elsa didn't know how to stop the snow. Frustrated, she cried out, I can't! An icy blast shot across the room and hit Anna in the heart. Kristoff rushed to her to help Anna. I think we should go, he said. At the base of the mountain, Kristoff noticed that Anna's hair was turning white. He knew his friends, the trolls, could help. Grandpappy saw at once that Anna was hurt. There is ice in your heart, but they're put there by your sister, he said. If not removed to solid ice, you will freeze forever. Grandpappy explained that only an act of true love could thaw a frozen heart. Anna knew Hans was her true love. Maybe a kiss from him would save her. Anna, Kristoff, Sven, and Olaf raced back to Arendelle to find him. But Hans was not in Ar Arendelle. He had set off to look for Anna when her horse returned without her. Hans, the... Hans and the search party arrived at Elsa's palace. The men attacked Elsa and she defended herself. Suddenly, one of the men aimed a crossbow at Elsa. Hans pushed it aside and the bolt hit a chandelier. It crashed to the ground, knocking Elsa out. Hans and his men took her back to Arendelle and locked her in a dungeon. Outside the kingdom, Anna, Kristoff, and Olaf and Sven hurried down the mountain. Anna was getting weaker by the minute. Kristoff was worried about her. At the castle gates, he passed her to the royal servants. He was starting to realize that he cared deeply about Anna, and he knew that her true love, Hans, could make her well again. Anna found Hans in the library. She asked him to save her life with a kiss, but he refused. Hans had only been pretending to love Anna so that he could take over Arendelle. Putting out the room's fire, he left Anna to freeze. Dun, dun, dun. In the dungeon, all Elsa could think about was getting away from, the, from Arendelle. It was the only way to protect everyone from her powers. Elsa became so upset that she froze the whole dungeon and escaped. Alone in the library, Anna could only dwell on her mistakes and trying to find love had she doomed herself and her sister. Just when Anna had given up hope, Olaf, Olaf arrived. The snowman lit a fire, even though Anna was worried that he might melt. Some people are worth melting for, he said. Olaf looked out the window and saw Kristoff returning. The snowman realized that Kristoff was the true love who would save Anna. Olaf helped Anna outside, where she spotted Kristoff across the fro- Oh, I forgot the picture, sorry. I was so enthralled with the book, I'm like loving it. We're almost finished with the story. Hope you're liking it. If it's a little long, just take a pause and then you can listen to the rest. Olaf helped Anna outside, where she spotted Kristoff across the frozen ford. It, if she could, if she could reach him in time, she would be saved. But then she saw something else. Hans was about to strike Elsa with his sword. Using her remaining strength, Anna threw herself in front of Elsa. Hans' sword came down just as Anna's body froze to solid ice. Elsa wrapped her arms around her frozen sister. Oh, Anna, she sobbed. Then something amazing happened. Anna began to thaw. An act of true love will thaw a frozen heart. Olaf said. Anna's love for Elsa had saved them both. Love! Elsa cried, looking at Anna. That's it. Elsa realized that love was the key to her magic. She reversed the winter and brought back summer. Hans was astonished to see Anna alive. Anna? He said. But she froze your heart. The only frozen heart around here is yours, Anna said, and sent him reeling with one punch. 
With summer restored, Arendelle returned to normal, but from then on the castle gates were open for good. For the first time in a long while, Arendelle was happy place again, and Queen Elsa and Princess Anna were the happiest of all, for they had found their way back to each other. I hope you enjoyed that. Here's the last picture, and the next story is called Family Matters. We'll read that sometime. Also, sometimes these stories are great to listen to right before you go to sleep, and you can count it as your reading log. As you can tell, it works for Oliver. Sound asleep. All right, I'll see you next time. Bye.